Whew. Just look at that. That's a masterpiece right there. What's going on, family? It's your boy Jay De Niro. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Jay De Niro's Kitchen. And tonight, I got something safe and easy for you. Tonight, I'm going to be making some fully stuffed steak and shrimp baked potatoes. If you're digging the content, hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get at it. So steak and shrimp baked potatoes. I'm not going to name off every ingredient because I'm going to leave it in the description. Okay, as you can see here, I have four bacon potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and hit those with a little bit of olive oil. As you can see, I'm almost out of olive oil and I was just at the store. Don't you hate when that happens? But like I said, I'm going to hit there with a little bit of olive oil on each one of these potatoes. Rub them in. Rub it in, the olive oil, all four of these potatoes. Make sure those potatoes coated very well. And from here, we're going to go in our oven. The shrimp. This season. Okay. We're gonna hit that with a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Some black pepper. Just like so. Blend those flavors together. Go ahead and blend those flavors together. Everyone knows it don't take shrimp that long to get get done. Cook these for say about three to five minutes. Cook an extra two minutes with pasta. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it into my bowl. As you can see, I already coated my skillet again with some olive oil. About to go ahead and cook my beef, steak or whatnot. Go ahead and transfer that into my pan, just like so. Go ahead and add my seasoning. Add some onion powder. Montreal steak seasoning, Greek seasoning, garlic powder, mix that 
seasoning into the beef. Get all the flavor into the meat. I'm going to turn that fire up on the medium. Like I say, this beef is already done, so we're going to cook it, say, like seven minutes. Just get a char on it. beef cook and then we're gonna move on to the next step okay it's been like seven to eight minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer that instead of transferring it in my bowl with my shrimp I'm gonna transfer it on my cutting board because like I say I'm gonna go ahead and chop it up so I combine it with my potato the inside of my potato or whatnot I'm going to go ahead and chop up my beef. Get that all chopped up. See, I have a few shrimp. I'm go ahead and chop those up because I'm also going to put this inside the inside of my potatoes. Get that all chopped up. Inside my potatoes. Okay, it's about time for me to pull those potatoes out the oven. Just proof, just what I ordered. Nice texture, done all the way through. Like I said, I'm going to let these potatoes chill out for like 10 minutes so they can cool off so I can cut my top off and start removing the inside so I can mix that with my shrimp and my beef. Okay, as you can see, my potatoes and cooled down. So I'm cutting the top out of my potatoes. Just like so, just the top area. Just like that. And my next step, I'll be heating back up my meat, my shrimp, and my beef, and my frying pan. This shrimp and beef mixture in there. Just like so. Take the lid of my potatoes, peel it off. So I'm going to be mixing it in with my beef and my shrimp. Just like so. Now we're going 
get that inside out of our potatoes. We have to be careful. So you want to break that out of edge and transfer that in. Transfer that into our pan, just like so. It's enough just right there. See? You know it's look come out looking like that, you know you're doing just fine. We're gonna go on to our other potato. I'm gonna finish good these potatoes and I'm gonna be back with you. We're gonna move along to our next step. Okay, as you can see. I gutted out all my potatoes, mixed that in with my beef and my shrimp and my skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with some pink Himalayan salt. I'm just gonna season this to taste. Everybody taste bud is different. Come with a little pepper. Up. Ooh, it smells so good in here. Just, you have no idea. I want some green on you. I love green on you. Next I'm going to come on with some butter, about a tablespoon of butter. Make that two tablespoons. Some parsley. There's a garnishing. Mix that around, get it a stir. We can merge that butter in our potatoes and our other ingredients. Just like so. All this flavor in our mix. You want to add bacon bits. Put as many bacon bits you want in there. That's about enough for me. Get it a stir. Put as much cheese as you want in your Have my found medium. Mix it all up. Add the rest of this steak. 
Well, not the red summit. Add most of it. Free shrimp. Save some of this shrimp for the top of my potatoes. cheese that been cooking right here. I'm gonna add a little bit of my nacho cheese. Ooh wee. Oh, it looks so good. It smells good too. Just wonderful. Put my fat down on low. Mix it together. Okay, let's move along by stuffing these potatoes. Oops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stuff just like so. Mm. Hit there with a little sour cream, like so. Very mm. nice shredded cheese. I think I'm gonna go with the nacho cheese right now. You don't have to exactly set your stuffed potato up like I'm setting mine up. It's just the way I like to do it. It's just beautiful. Shredded cheese. Green onion. Just like so. A little parsley. Got to mention that I also have this potato topping by Fresh Success. Be adding a little bit of that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So cheesy. Ooh, just look at that. That's a masterpiece right there. The salad on the side. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I really I did myself this time. With this steak and this shrimp. All combined together is greatness. Ooh, ain't that beautiful? Just look at it. It's so sexy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's taste this, people. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That sounded right. Dig in. Mm, 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 mm. So much flavor. 
I can taste their pink Himalayan salt, their pepper, their onion powder, their garlic. Mm, 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 mm. That's good. I hope everybody out there being safe. Cause you know this COVID stuff still going around. You know, be careful of your surroundings. Cause we live in a dangerous world right now. So fire, so good. It's your boy, Jay Nero. If you're digging the content, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm out of here.